Hey there, my name is Brian Krogsgaard uh, from Ledger Status. Go to ledgerstatus.com to check out everything that I put out or hit subscribe on this YouTube channel and, uh, you know, check out new videos as they come out. All right, so the UNI token, U-N-I, is the Uniswap native governance token. It just got released last night, um, less than 24 hours ago, maybe less than like 16 hours ago. And this thing has been a whirlwind. I want to talk about how that fits into a lot of other stuff uh, going on in this ecosystem. As most of you know, if you have interest in this video, uh, Uniswap.org and the Uniswap.exchange um, is where a lot of the activity has occurred in actually trading these assets. So all the stuff we've talked about with pooling and farming and trading and connecting your wallet and doing all that stuff. Um, Uniswap has been the most popular place to do that. And what we'll do is, you know, we'll pull up some of that information. And uh, I want to talk about everything that I know about the Uni token, what to expect, uh, how it's earned, how things went with the launch, what's going on. That's what we're going to cover today. So uh, I'm glad you're here. Let's get right to it. Um, okay, so let's switch over here and what we've got, we're on uniswap.info. You can already see the Uniswap token is one of the top tokens being traded, even though it's been out for just a short amount of time. There's $13 million of liquidity, uh, $211 million of 24 hour volume, uh, that's really occurred in the past all, maybe like the past, uh, 18 hours or so since it's been out. Uh, this is in answer to other clones or, or competitors to Uniswap, whether it's Sushi or uh, Mooniswap or others, where they have added a additional rewards mechanism to liquidity pool providers to encourage them to use those, um, those decentralized protocols because if you're just pooling alone, and I encourage you to check out those videos that we did, then you suffer impermanent losses where you're the least efficient person in the, in the mechanism uh, by providing that liquidity, and you have some risks there of those impermanent losses, and these governance tokens that reward people that are pooling is the answer to that. Uh, and also by getting these governance tokens, you can participate in the ecosystem and that kind of stuff. So most of the competitors to Uniswap... They've said the reason this is important is because you need this additional re reward, this additional incentive, the governance component. The other thing that a governance token does is it helps further decentralize everything so that decision making for the protocol is uh, distributed amongst the participants in the ecosystem. Uh, Uniswap has ha peaked maybe at $2 billion or so in liquidity and 24-hour volume, maybe around $950 million. A lot of that was caused by Sushi and others uh, using the Uniswap pools in order to incentivize their token generation. Um, now that Uni is out, you and I, um, they are going to have their own pools. So these pools go into effect in about three hours from my time at the market close today, and we're uh, will be rewarded by farming certain pools. Now, there's a lot of liquidity on Uni Ethereum, but for the first 30 days, that's not one of the incentivized pools. Uh, so let's go first to just the launch of introducing Uniswap, where they have the contact address if you're worried. And every single person, if you've exchanged anything on uh, Uniswap, you probably got dropped some tokens. So this is a pretty fair launch. And uh, everybody got at least 400 tokens if you've traded on Uniswap or interacted with it through uh, various mechanisms they have. That was 250,000 addresses uh, that they sent 400 tokens to at least. And then there were 49,000 unique liquidity providers. So if you pooled at any, at any point, um, then you are also incentivized. Their token distribution, all that stuff, uh, check in here. What we want to get to, though, um, is the incentivized pools. So to farm Mooniswap starting tonight, or by the time you're watching this, it's probably already happening, um, you can do so through the Ethereum USDT pool, the Ethereum USDC pool, Ethereum DAI, and Ethereum WBTC. And uh, there's 
83,333 uni per pool per day or 13.5 uni uh, per pool per block. Um, there's no lockup on these. These are immediately going to go into the people participating uh, into their wallets. Um, if you want to find out if you can claim your uni, you can go on this blog post and go to the, the Uniswap app and uh, look for this little trigger right here, like it shows here, that says you can claim your Uniswap. Uh, and then from that same interface is where you can do some of the incentive stuff and the governance and all that fun stuff that they have included. Uh, so what's interesting about Uniswap? Well, for one, this is a... Um, a response shot, if you will, to all of the competition. And it is kind of instantaneously one of the uh, biggest launches in the ecosystem. Uh, the 24 hour trading volume, less than a day, is over $1.7 billion. And so it, w this will probably hit $2 billion of trading volume of Uni in one day, which is enormously high. The market cap is 240 million based on the current distribution. So that was 150 million that went to everybody in those with those 400 uni drops. Um, the total uh, the the total supply will be one billion over the course of four years, and then two percent inflation per year afterwards. So the current market cap is based on circulating supply, whereas the four year market cap is uh, whatever the price is, you know, times 1 billion. So 3.7 billion right now. And honestly, from a competitive standpoint, this is still decently priced, I think, for what is essentially um, the biggest player in the ecosystem. Now, what do you get for pooling? What are the actual rewards? Uh, somebody made a really cool spreadsheet, mechanism cap, at mechanism cap, did this. Uh, based on this distribution, based on the inflation, based on uh, the amount that is being printed, uh, and then the amount locked. So all of this depends on, because it's a certain a specific number of uni tokens uh, per block per pool, if there are $30 million pooled and the price of Uniswap is $3, then the APY is going to be 400%. Uh, so if we get up to, say, $100 million in the pool, and it stays, uh, let's say it goes to, or stays at $3, then it's going to be 91%. So the amount of dollars in the pool and the price of uni is going to be what affects this APY. In all likelihood, these pools are going to have a ton in them. Um, it's not even worth me saying what's in them right now, because right now, right this moment, over the, and over the coming hours, tens of millions of dollars, is going to funnel into these to take advantage of these, especially while they have the higher returns. What we should expect over time is that, you know, this goes up because even at these types of levels, you know, 60 to 150% APY with $200 million in the pool and some of these higher prices, these are incredible returns for, one of the most stable options that you can farm. So this, that is, you know, this is liquidity, uh, liquidity mining, and this is uh, farming. And um, there, it's being done on conservative pools. Ethereum USDT, your exposure is not in the altcoin. Now they can adjust these pools through governance, and the way governance is going to happen is that someone could, you know, put up a proposal using, I think, 1% of the total supply essentially has to delegate and vote uh, to, to do so, uh, has to vote through the, the voting portal up here, and then, you know, you can put the proposal out and, and go from there. So what does all this mean for us? Is my, should I hold my 400 uni? Should I sell my 400 uni? Should I buy more uni? Um, what should I do? All right, so here's... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. What I do know is this thing got listed in less than 24 hours on uh, Binance, FTX, Coinbase, and all of the decentralized wallets and all these places. I mean, they just instantly went for it. Um, it's 
honestly, I think it's the most important project in the space. Um, in some ways, it's inefficient because it's using Ethereum. The very launch of this project caused the Ethereum gas fees to double or triple. And if you want to sell your uh, 400 uni, which at this very moment are like worth 12, 13, 1400 dollars, something like that, you're going to spend like 40 or 50 bucks for the privilege of dumping it. Um, and the question is, is it a smart thing to dump it? Uh, based on the circulating supply, I actually think that the current price is pretty low because there are a lot of projects that are a lot bigger. If you were to say the fully diluted market cap of, say, BNB is around $5 billion right now, the fully diluted market cap of this being around $3.7 billion, uh, I think Uniswap, if it's the protocol that kind of wins the liquidity wars like we talked about, then, and I think it has a great chance of being that, uh, I think it should be competitive with BNB. In fact, I think Uniswap or whatever wins the liquidity wars, whatever, wh whoever the best aggregator of liquidity in decentralized uh, ecosystems, whoever that is, depending on the mechanics behind the token, for instance, if fees go to rewarding token holders or whatever else might be, uh, you know, created in terms of value by governance, well, that could have quite a lot of value and it could be bigger than any single centralized exchange. So I, I don't know if it's a great value or a terrible value. What I do know is that when I look at something like Astro Tools, which is uh, kind of like Dex Tools, but better, it's uh, astrotools.io. Um, you know, I just have been monitoring what are some of the sells and what are some of the buys that I see. And, you know, it's not, it's not scientific, but you see a lot of this where people are selling, you know, their 400 uni that they got because it's real money for people. Uh, you could have spent $5 on Uniswap and you got sent 1200 or $1,400 at current prices, uh, uh, worth of, of uni tokens. So there's nothing wrong with selling them. But then what you see is buys like this, where someone's spending, you know, 40, 50, 100 Ethereum, and they're buying thousands of, of uni. And, you know, there's, you go through these pages, there's a lot more sells than buys, but most of the buys are sig more significant uh, and more, more meaningful. And I think there are at least some speculators who are voting to say that they think that there is, uh, you know, more potential from a price perspective. I'm not going to try to make that calculation. What I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of the fact that this very new project with essentially price exploration in both directions is swinging all over the place. I mean, it had a 40% drop uh, followed by a 56% gain, etc. cetera, um, all in one day. So you can take advantage of high liquidity and you can trade it. You can just swing trade it and see what shapes up. I mean, it's going to take some time for this chart to become anything. A four-hour chart is, I mean, it tells you nothing. A daily chart tells you nothing. And what we're going to see is over time, uh, and as you know, stuff happens, as, as this kind of figures itself out, we'll see some people start to try to establish valuations for the token. Like, okay, well, if they start to you know, uh, reward these fees to token holders. What is the price? What's the value of those fees? Um, so let's say 5% of every fee goes towards token holders. Well, if Uniswap is getting $500 million of volume, then, you know, you can start doing that math in terms of, okay, well, this is the number of dollars or like hundreds of thousands of dollars going back to token holders every day. Um, and we'll start to see some of this analysis to, honestly give some of the first opportunities in crypto for fundamental analysis that has to do with how token holders are literally rewarded by receiving fees. And there's a couple other uh, projects that are doing this, like Yearn or uh, YFI, um, that are enabling some of this type of analysis that we haven't seen before. So I'm really excited about uh, the Uniswap token, or UNI. Um, there's a couple of things that I wish were different. I wish there was some kind of cap in terms of how much someone could have gotten so it's a little less top-heavy. 
Although I really do like the way they did it based on people who pulled and the percentage of the overall liquidity they provided on the platform at a given time. So it really front weights it. So people that were providing liquidity back here were rewarded more than the people that put in a lot more money up here because as a percentage of the totals, they were uh, more impactful. So they were rewarded for that. And I think that's really cool. Not to mention the fact that they gave 400 uni, and we don't know what that we don't know what that will mean a year from now. Like, is that going to be 400 dollars? Is it going to be 4,000? We don't know. Um, but they gave 400 uni to each person that has interacted with this ecosystem. That's all really cool. How am I personally playing it? I've been trading it. Uh, I sold my uh, uni that was attached to an address that I had. Uh, over here and then I bought it over here and I sold it overnight and then I bought it again. I don't know exactly where on the chart was. I'm in at this very moment uh, from I think around 280 and I'm honestly watching it closely because I think that it can have some price exploration to the top side. It could break down. I don't know. It's brand new token. We got to see what happens. Um, this is going to be one of the most important projects to watch. Don't get caught sleeping on it and I hope that this gave you at least some guidance in terms of what to know about it. In terms of what you want to do, um, consider whether you think you should be a liquidity provider. It doesn't matter how many tokens you have. It's based on that, you know, that annual uh, yield. So if it's delivering 400% APY for a period of time, well, when you're not in a trade, maybe you put your uh, tokens in ETH BTC pool, ETH WBTC pool, you have exposure to Ethereum and Bitcoin or Ethereum and USDT or whatever you want to have exposure to, and you're earning a little dividend on top of that, and you're in the pool. Now you have the uh, the risks of being a liquidity provider, like we've talked about before, but you're earning a little bit on top, and uh, you can have exposure to Uniswap that way. I'm certainly going to be doing some of that. Also, some other platforms, Mooniswap has already qualified uh, the uni token, uh, as one of their farming pools, because their whole thing is they're doing, uh, farming right now. Um, I can't, I don't, I don't see it on here, but they have these quali here it is. They have the, these qualified pools. So if you provide liquidity on one of their pools, then you'll earn their one inch token that's coming out. And Mooniswap, or One Inch, the company behind Mooniswap, they're one of the primary aggregators in this space. So they're one of the players in the liquidity wars. So, you know, if you want to hold Uniswap, um, you you could pull for Uniswap using Ethereum and, and wrapped B BTC or whatever, but you could also use your Uniswap you're holding and you could pull it with Ethereum over here to earn One Inch. And now you're uh, essentially farming for two competitors, probably the top two competitors in my opinion. So... There's some really interesting things that you can do. In the meantime, though, I'm going to be watching the price, see what happens, and I'm really excited to see how all this plays out uh, because I am really fascinated um, by everything going on in this space. I've been talking about this a lot, but you got to be paying attention to this market. If you know about it, if you don't know about it, there's people that are pretty new to crypto. Barrier to entry on this stuff is pretty high, but people are pretty new that are miles ahead of people that have been in crypto for years. And if you're not paying attention, you're missing out on potential opportunities because this type of volatility in a coin is a great opportunity to be a trader and potentially from a fundamental perspective, if you make the right cause to be a successful investor as well. Good luck. We'll see you next time.